Will the pH of a 0 0.100 molar solution of the following salt be acidic, basic, or neutral? What we have to do is we have to take this apart because this is an ionic compound that dissolves in water. That's what a salt is. That's another word for it is. I could write, will a, the pH of a 0 0.100 molar solution of the following ionic compound that dissolves in water be acidic, basic, or neutral? So within that, we've got K plus. We've got perchlorate minus. And the rules of this are going to be that any, so first off, we're looking at anything that's positive to be an acid. We're looking at anything that's negative to be a base. Plus, if the negative thing has an H on it, that uh, we're looking to see if that could be an acid as well. This one does not. So, and then any, uh, let's start with the acid, K plus. Plus is, um, so any positive metal ion in groups one or two And those are the columns on the periodic table that are all the way to the left, groups one and two with the number one and two on top, is um, an inert acid. And what an inert acid is, is it means it does not affect pH. And sometimes I t tend to prefer the word inert. Inert means do nothing or does nothing. Uh, some professors call it very weak as well basically weaker than H2O, unable to make H2O create any high, uh, hydroniums or hydrogen ions. So no effect on pH. Now that's different if you have a transition metal ion. Transition metal ions do have Ka values. Those Ka values are tabulated on one of the pages uh, where are they? Oh, yes. On uh, right above, right between the acids and the um, bases, the, it's called um, dissociation constants on the conversion equation sheets. You can see um, a bunch of the transition metals and aluminum and beryllium. So if you see those on here, they will tend to make things acid. Now, um, the base. So the for bases, uh, what you're going to typically do is you're going to look at what the conjugate weak acid is. The conjugate weak acid of this is going to be HClO4. And HClO4 is a strong acid. And strong acids have uh, inert uh, conjugate bases. So an inert means no effect on pH. And that means that since neither ion has any effect on pH, that this is going to be a neutral solution. Now, uh, just to give you an example, if you were to have something, and I'll make up an example here, I'm not sure if it's in here, um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's not, but just in case. So Na uh, HCrO4 minus. Um, so anything that's weird, find it on. Oh, that shouldn't be a minus uh, because it's with the sodium ion. Um, so this is the hydrogen chromate ion. Find it on your list of. Uh, as, so Ka and Kb values. So we've got HCrO4. And first off, we've got sodium ion. It's inert. Next, we've got HCrO4 minus. Um, and what you can find on that is that there is a Ka value, which is what we look for because it has an H in the front. We could also look for a Kb value for this. There is not one for this. 
So I have a Ka for this, I think. I was just looking at it. 3.0 times 10 to the minus 7. That means this is a weak acid. And since there's a weak acid that is part of this salt, it would be an acidic one.